You braved the traffic, reached your destination, and now scanning for parking whilst the clock is ticking. A typical urban woe for the commuter. Help is at hand, and the future of city parking may look like this. Ah, huh. I think my job here is done. Okay. Okay, it's already scanned my plate number, so all I have to do is put my phone number in. Okay. And it's done. The smart valet system automatically allocates a space and parks my car, saving me from trawling around. This auto-guided parking lot in Hangzhou can take in 400 plus cars. The same space, if used for conventional parking, could only accommodate over half that number. That's because without the drivers, there's more room to play Tetris with the cars. AVG parking does not require as much space between cars. Standard bays are 2.5 meters wide. We can shorten that. We also don't need to leave space for cars to turn. Plus, we can park cars in front of each other and just move them out of the way when needed. And that could be a solution for resource-stretched cities. The technology can be applied to existing parking lots. Getting the car is a breeze too. We are the biggest unmanned parking lot in China. The robots park and retrieve cars. People aren't needed. When the driver is within 300 meters of the parking lot, they can call for their car using our mobile retrieval system. So when they arrive, their car will be here waiting for them. Or use the system generated pickup code on site. So I need to, they send me a code onto my phone and then I tap in that code. And then you get another message saying that uh, you've successfully asked for your car back and it's just a waiting game next. And it will tell you which bay that it goes into. And you just have to wait. Car sit. The entire parking process involving me on average just five minutes. That's time I can certainly afford. Jiao Yang, CGTN, Hangzhou.